Where is this turtle? Oh no, you're gonna, oh God, don't attack me. You rarely ever get to see this side of the pond, huh? I've got a few soft shells in there. Look at that. I saw this crawling around the rocks. This is only about a week and a half old. Look at this size difference between mom and baby. There's always something going on here at the camp, man. Hey, what's going on everyone? Kenan here and uh, today is a warm day, but um, we're gonna start off, I got my net here. And uh, we're gonna look for a box turtle that I found yesterday that was just right here at my front gate. So I threw it on over into this enclosure that the sulcatas are not using. I started looking for it, I couldn't find it again. And uh, that's a little bit of a problem we got a remedy here today. Uh, I think it could have possibly snuck out and gone into the larger pen with some of the other tortoises. I didn't realize there were little holes that maybe a box turtle could fit through. But I was wandering around looking for it, uh, you know, kind of just kind of scanning the area when I heard a rustling. And we have two fences. You see, you got an old fence here and a new fence. And so it creates this little area. Oh no, where is he? All right, there he is, right there. It's a, a Florida softshell turtle that seems to be stuck. How am I gonna get the net? I, I shut off the electric, by the way. How am I gonna get the net down here to kind of get this guy extricated from this uh, predicament that it finds itself? And I don't know if it's a male or a female, but it is a Florida box turtle that needs to get in the net somehow. I gotta just jam it, this net down. I think I can reach my, yeah, look at this. Oh, that might work. That might work. Hold on. I'm glad the electric is off because that's not a pleasant feeling, I can tell you that. Come on, guy, just get in here for me. These guys can be fast, too. Oh, that's what I need, I just need you to fall into the net somehow. Gosh, up, up, up. This is not easy to do, people. With one hand and an upset turtle. Oh no, you're gonna, oh God, don't attack me. It looks like a male. All right, can you go that way? Maybe if we move him into a better area. Come on. Oh gosh, this is gonna be a little bit of an ordeal, I think. Uh, it's always important for me to kind of check these fences. Well, let me pull this Brazilian pepper out as well. We don't want that growing up in there. That's a pain in the neck. This is a non-native plant that causes trouble. Just kind of grows everywhere and ruins fences. So I try and keep plants off the fence. Okay, here we go again. Let's see if I can stuff this net down there. Oops, sorry, dude. Yeah, it's, I don't have quite the best leverage with this log here. Come on, guy, keep going. I gotta reach my hand in again. I, I could easily get bit by this guy as well. You know what I've done in the past? I've actually fed it up. I've fed turtles up, but it's gonna be hard to do with this, with this guy here. He's gotta keep going. Oh, don't turn around, please. That would be bad for me and my hand. Oh God, here we go. You gotta go sideways, go sideways. No, no, sideways. There you go, keep going. I think this will be better over here. Yeah, good. Now he's completely concealed by these pine needles. Oh man, this is not easy, people. It's not easy saving turtles sometimes, especially when they get through this fence. It's so annoying. Oh, you know what I'll do? I think I got an idea. Let's chase it into the net. If I do this, that may in fact help me out. This might work. All right. Don't get bit, Kenan. Oh boy. A bite from a uh, Florida soft shell or any soft shell is gonna hurt. I can tell you that much. They're uh, pretty aggro little turtles. Oh God, he's turning around. Don't turn around. I got no grab on him. Nope, I don't want you to turn around, please. Ah, there we go. Come on. Don't drop this. There we go. There we go. 
Oh, that's good. All right. All right, there you go. We got you. Hey, little dude. So it's a male, and I guess I'm just gonna throw them in my pond. Um, I've got a few soft shells in there, Florida soft shells. They're cool little turtles. Let's go ahead and bring them in. Oh my gosh, there's always something going on here at the camp, man. Uh, I've actually found gators that have gotten stuck in between uh, here, and unfortunately one died because it overheated, you see, when it gets wedged in between the old and new fence. So the old fence is rotted out, and I guess they can get in, but some sections are still pretty, pretty solid. Hey, tortoises. Oh, let's go over here. And uh, then we can get looking for this box turtle, which I really want to show you because it's got an interesting, interesting shell. So look at this guy. He's got a little bump right there. Come on, go on. All right. Well, no thank you. No nothing. They just kind of love you and leave you. They don't even love you. They just leave you. Okay. So now let's go back over and I'm going to kind of wander around, try and find this box turtle. I don't think, I don't know, I don't think the box turtle would be able to get through here. Let's see. I mean, I don't think it was, it was rather large box turtle. And of course, during this time of day, the turtle is going to be hiding because it's warm. Uh, quite warm, actually. So let's go by this bamboo and see if I can find him. If not, I'm going to wander over into the big sulcata tortoise pen and see if we can look into the palmetto and maybe find them in there. But if I'm a box turtle and it's hot, I'm gonna kinda hide out. I'm gonna hide in the bamboo or someplace where it's uh, got out of the sun. So let's see. I don't know. They're gonna be hiding down in the pine needle, but that's pretty thick. I don't think they're, it's gonna manage it in there. Okay over here uh, that's pretty thick bamboo I don't think he can wander too far into it and I don't I mean there's no way he could have got out of this yard because it's a pretty secure fence let's see over here I don't see the box turtle over here I put down these bricks these chunks of concrete to kind of keep the sulcatas from digging out I'm not seeing anything. The wifey's back from her supermarket run. I can't find this guy. I looked underneath these earlier. Nope. Don't see him in there. There's really not too many places it can hide in this enclosure. Let's, I looked under here before, guys. Nothing. Hmm. Hmm, it up and left, it has to have gone through here. So that means it's wandered in with these big guys. And in fact, it's, e it's even possible that it walked into the, uh, into the actual tortoise shelter. So let's go see if it actually got down in there. You can have a look at that big old Brutus. And I'll get ready over here and lift this up. I don't see him in here. Nope, not in there. God, it's loud. So loud. So terrible. I got a smudge. Okay. All right, now we're going to have to get on our hands and knees and really start looking down in here. I may have to come out later when it's cooler when this little guy might be moving around. We don't see anything there. Nothing down there. I mean... Uh, hi guys, that's my big girl. She, they love hanging out in the... They love hanging out here as well when it's hot in the palmetto thicket. But this is kind of the habitat where you'd find Florida box turtles. So it's a natural habitat for them, as you can imagine. Pine needles and it's a pine flat with a bunch of places to kind of wedge themselves into, like down in here. These little forms are good spots for Florida box turtles to hide. Oh boy. And the thing about box turtles is they're getting more and more rare down here because Florida box turtles are actually 
very beautiful species of box turtle and they are highly sought after for the pet trade both here in the states and uh, overseas um, so it's one of those animals that's a victim of his own beauty kind of like my wife she's a victim of her own beauty look at her i chased her down hi hon hi. all right okay well i'm gonna keep looking it's also possible this guy's gonna find and there's a nice big bamboo uh, excuse me coconut palm frond let's see it's also possible they it would find the barrier and walk along said barrier like let's see no one in there no one in there now these are saw palmettos so they've got little serrated you see these little serrations they can tear up your legs and hands if you're not careful where is this turtle now to be honest it's not a disaster if this turtle doesn't go found for a little while because this is its habitat there's plenty of things for this turtle to eat as far as little lizards and bugs and yes they will eat lizards and bugs and earthworms and anything they can kind of capture or any fruits that fall on the ground it's like a little jungle excursion huh good grief okay what i'm gonna do step over here and see if i can walk the edge from over here look at how this is eroding oh look at these basilisks guys right here there's a basilisk that's a brown basilisk look at it go little baby basilisk look at him go oh wow they are fast it's a little non-native lizard they're originally from south and central america but now they find themselves here in florida oh let's go for a walk we rarely ever get to see this side of the pond huh let's go for a walk and see what we can find and again what's cool about this is i get to see things that need to be um dealt with like i've got to put a new board up or re-nail this board in luckily i've got that smaller gauged wire there so let's keep looking holy smokes this guy uh the escape artist I, I mean i only put him away so that i was gonna release it uh later on after we did a video because its shell was real mangled uh it really went through a lot this turtle let's see nobody down in there i like to keep this over here sometimes turtles fall down that little well all right let's go through the tall grass i gotta get in and weed whack There are plenty of places for this box turtle to hide in here, that's for sure. I don't think we're gonna find it. Uh, when a turtle doesn't wanna be found, man, they are almost impossible, especially smaller species like the box turtles. Good grief. I honestly don't think it got into this area because I've got smaller turtles in here and they don't get out. So how could one get in? There's a big grandis. Look at the size of them, huh? Big Florida, excuse me, big uh, Southeast Asian box turtle. Excuse me, I don't know what I'm saying. I have a box turtle on the brain. Pond turtle, the giant Asian pond or wood turtle right there. The yeah, semi's grand. It's very loud. Two males just kind of wandering about. And they, those guys are cool because they, they kind of wander on land. Here comes one right now, wandering around on land. And while they're doing the land thing, they uh, nibble on the grasses and stuff. See this? Whoa, 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 going fast. Big, big look. Oh, all these cypress knees. It's crazy. All right. Not seeing anybody. Criminy. We've done a whole loop. All right, I'll tell you what. Uh, I'm going to keep looking, and I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. See ya. 
All right, well, we didn't find the box turtle, guys. I apologize. So uh, that didn't happen, but don't worry. We're not gonna get hung up on all that because I wanna show you some of the new things that happened. So last week I was in here cleaning up Sophia's pond and you can see there is the Badiger borneensis. And just below that little dude is a Reeves turtle, which we're gonna grab. We're gonna grab this Reeves turtle. It's a female. Uh, she's the only one in here. There used to be more, but she's the only gal left. Uh, let's go ahead and pick her up. So this is a Reeves turtle, guys. These are from Taiwan and mainland China. Just a pretty interesting and cute little turtle. Uh, this is as big as they get. They'll wander around on land and they'll kind of swim around. She's got a little nubby tail from when she was kind of young. She got nipped. So I want to take a short walk. Let me put her down real quick so I can go ahead and get my fluker food sealed up. Hold on, young lady, I wanna show you off because as I was draining this out and cleaning it, if you were following my Instagram last week, which you guys may wanna go check out, uh, Camp Cannon on Instagram, uh, you'll see the day I found a baby Reeves turtle. And what's really cool is she's been alone for a while, so there's gotta be other babies in there and she must have just laid some eggs, but I wanna show you a side-by-side comparison and what I did to set this up. Now you guys remember Turbo, he was my Diamondback Turban, he passed away and I kind of had a very bare kind of enclosure for him. So what I wanted to do with the Reeves turtle and, and of course I gave this turtle, this is uh, Leo's turtle now, he's gonna be helping take care of it. But uh, basically this turtle, if we can find him, you guys are not gonna believe how small he is. Uh, this turtle got set up in a really cool environment okay uh, I took some of the pond plants put them in little planters and we stuck them in this waterland tub we got some lily pads I put some little guppies in there I'm gonna put her right here and uh, we're gonna look for this turtle um, anyhow the little Reeves turtle has like a cool spot you know like I said places to hide there's gonna be lilies keeping the water clear and clean I add water to this rain water goes in it uh, so it works out good where is this little guy where could he be hiding oh, I knocked the rock off the drain there uh, I don't see him guys this this is like the video where I cannot find my turtles but I really He's in here because I literally just saw it. Oh, there he goes. Come here. Up, oh, come here. Come here. Oh, he's fast. Look at that. Are you kidding me? I saw this crawling around the rocks. This is only about a week and a half old. This turtle is very, very young. It's a beautiful baby Reeves turtle. Now look at this. Oh, don't mind the machete, everyone. Look at this size difference between mom and baby. Is that adorable? Look, it's just amazing. I can't believe I saw this little dude walking around. Oh boy, he's gonna make a break for it. Let me get him down. Oh, look at mom and look at baby. This is absolutely the mom and baby right here. Isn't that amazing? There's your little baby. You never really get to see them usually. Uh, the moms don't. Usually they, of course, lay their eggs and then leave. But my God, I'm so excited. I was so happy to see the reproduction happening. And so that means that those aquascape ecosystem ponds are just performing perfectly. Uh, that means the animals are happy. We're doing a good job with it. Look at that. Oh my gosh, so awesome, get in there. Oh, I got some cool underwater footage you guys are gonna dig. So basically, Reeves turtles are from Taiwan and mainland uh, China. As I mentioned, they're semi-aquatic, which means they're gonna walk around on land. They're gonna kind of go in the water. They're great little swimmers, as you guys can see with this little dude. And they are omnivores. So they're gonna eat pellets. They're gonna eat worms, little fish, little invertebrates, some carrion, and they're also gonna eat some vegetation. Oh my gosh, I just love watching this guy cruise around underwater. It's amazing. And he's got so many little places he can hide and hang out and just do what he's got to do to grow big and strong. And the reason I set this enclosure up like this with a lot of little nooks and crannies, a lot of plants, gravel, um, and fish is because it's going to become its own little ecosystem. And there'll be mosquito larvae, which this little guy's going to love to eat. And as he eats all those smaller invertebrates, he's going to get bigger and bigger. And I can't wait to put him back out into the pond whether it's a boy or a girl i don't know it's kind of small but they're amazing they lay eggs uh once a year 
they lay between uh, two to five eggs. Uh, this female that I'm holding in my hand, she's quite a large gal, so she's probably laying five eggs. There's probably a bunch more little turtles out there that I haven't seen, uh, but as I find them, I'll put them in this little nursery. But anyhow, uh, they hatch after about 60 to 70 days, and then they just kind of go and look for their own little micro habitat so that they can remain hidden and be safe and that's exactly what this little guy's trying to do right now he's trying to stay safe on this giant creature chasing him around the pond don't worry though it's good exercise uh but i just love seeing them underwater and he's a great little swimmer uh they're really really cool and they're one of the friendliest little turtles that you'll ever find out here uh, as far as having a turtle. You could also call them the Labrador of turtles because they really do follow you around, especially the large gal that I have. Uh, you know, she is just amazing. She's uh, so funny and she loves to, oops, she got a little bit of foam stuck on her from the wheelbarrow. Uh, but I'm gonna go put her back and uh, you'll see she'll go right back into the bottom of the pond and she'll just come cruising up. Uh, in between videos uh, segments here today, you know, from the beginning of this video and the end, I did a lot of work. I cleaned out the garage. I mean, look at that warehouse. It is totally immaculate. I am taking a left turn in this video. I'm a little ADD right now, but I'm so proud. Everything's got put in bins and it's clean. And now I'm starting to think, what if I tear down that and then make half of this a giant reptile room? Hmm, what if I insulate it and make a giant reptile room with indoor outdoor enclosures? That would be amazing. Something to look forward to. Ah, something else to look forward to is watching this little turtle grow. So uh, what do you say we leave this little guy alone, let him get use in his little uh, terrarium, which by the way, this thing has given me a bunch of ideas. These are the semi-aquatic waterland tubs. I'm thinking I may want to fill this up with gravel, this indentation. I can plant this out. We can get large plants. So I may do a video in the future where I really get in here and uh, almost, uh, dare I say, serpa it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, good old uh, Tanner is an inspiration to anybody who keeps animals because he's an artist. Check out his channel if you guys haven't already. But um, I, I think I, I have a few ideas for that. And I may be getting some more waterlands because I love the way they are they are set up and they're really easy to clean and they're really good for baby turtles hey look at those two little these curly tails chasing each other man Whew, there's always something going on hey by the way you know who they are the leprechauns are doing well all right let's get this mama back in here and uh we'll finish feeding the turtles some fluker food here go on little lady you can dive right back in i'm sorry i took you out but i just needed you to come back in and hang out with everybody so there she goes no worries She's such a cool turtle. Let's go ahead and get some food out of here for them. And uh, I'll just finish up this video saying thanks so much, guys. Hey, it was a good day, man. I didn't find that box turtle, but we saved a Florida soft shell and we learned a little bit about the Reeves turtle and saw the baby that I found literally right here in this pond. So very cool stuff. Hope you guys dug it. I'm gonna go ahead and leave you with some underwater footage of my turtles in Sophia's pond munching on some fluker diet right here some fluker gourmet turtle diet all right i'll see you guys soon thanks so much